Hi guys, it's Shannon from Skip To My Life. On today's episode, I'll be showing you 10 super simple, super adorable decor ideas for Valentine's Day. Let's get going. If you love to live an upscale life on a downsized budget, I am here for you at Skip To My Life. We're gonna start with a super simple DIY decor idea that you can make with just two items. The first is a white tray. I purchased this at Walmart for $5. And the second is a sheet of decals from Dollar Tree. Now Dollar Tree has many adorable Valentine decals and I was really drawn to this little red truck theme. For some reason, the designer on this piece put the hitch for the trailer on the wrong side. So we're gonna have to correct that by just cutting off that little hitch and the little spare tire and no one will be the wiser. These are a sheet of plastic window decals. So if you want it to be a permanent decor piece, you'd want to glue them down. I, however, wanted to reuse the tray. So I just took the blunt end of my pencil and I got those decals off the sheet and gently laid them on that tray and they stuck very well. And then I can peel them off when I want to use the tray for something else. Dollar Tree has been carrying these metal flower bins for quite some time, and you can usually find them year round, but especially in the spring. We'll start this project by dry brushing some white chalk paint, or you could also use white flat paint around all sides of the metal tin. To add a little bit of dimension to the distressed look, we're gonna take the aqua paint, same thing, chalk or flat paint, and just dry brush that over the white chalk paint. This makes the metal look a little bit oxidized. Dollar Tree sells these floral bricks in different sizes and in green and white. I chose the longer green one and without even taking the plastic off, I just glued that to the bottom of this flower tin. It fits perfectly. This is a great project for using up all those loose ends of little floral pieces you may have been collecting. And that's what I did as a base. I just poked some holes in that floral foam and stuck some greenery in there until it was all filled in. Next, I just poked some Dollar Tree roses in through that foam and voila, you have a beautiful little Valentine's Day distressed tin decor piece. Let me know if you're enjoying this video by clicking that like thumbs up button. You'll wanna make sure to subscribe to Skip To My Life because I'm using each of these 10 projects in my upcoming videos of Valentine's Day gift baskets. Dollar Tree featured these white pool noodles over Christmas and I simply threaded a wire hanger through that pool noodle, leaving the two ends to tie together and form a little wreath. Next, I worked with the wreath until it made a little bit more uniform shape, and then the fun really begins. Dollar Tree is offering some gorgeous Valentine Day ribbon, and I fell in love with this red and white gingham, as well as the thinner ribbon that says, I picked you. The bow is really the star of the show, and the ribbon that said, I picked you, inspired me to make a little bit of a berry theme for this wreath. Now you'll see me threading through the zip line so that it ties that ribbon together as well as tying the bow to the front of the wreath. To make a little arrangement of berries, I simply glued some floral leaves and three little vase filler circles in the middle. I can't wait to show you in my upcoming videos my idea for turning this simple wreath into a gift basket centerpiece. If you're looking for a super simple project for Valentine's Day, this is the one for you. I simply used a long glass candle from Dollar Tree, 
a large gift bag, and these 3D stickers. I cut out the folded section of the bag, and you'll see why I'm doing that later. I wanted to save the two top panels, and I created three bands to glue around that candle. Let me know if you're enjoying this video by clicking that like thumbs up button. The final step in this super simple project is just to adhere those three heart stickers along the center of your paper tabs. This farmhouse sign has more steps than any of these other projects, and it's not truly a Valentine's Day item, but this is my husband's favorite scripture verse, so I decided to create this as a gift for him. I started by applying white chalk paint to an oblong sign from Dollar Tree, and then I used these adorable little napkins Dollar Tree is featuring with the distressed planks on it, and I separated the backing from the napkin and just cut the pieces to fit this board. I simply thinned out some of that Jot School Glue, very inexpensive, and used it kind of like Mod Podge to adhere the paper napkins to the board. I wanted to cover up those seams a little bit, so I just ripped a few more pieces of the napkin and applied them to make it look distressed. Once that napkin had completely dried, I went around the edges and cut off the excess. And then I just took a nail file and filed down all those little strings that were still remaining to make that edge very smooth. Then to make it a little bit more uniform, I went ahead and dry brushed some white chalk paint over the surface. And now we're ready to really get to the fun part. Dollar Tree is really upping their game when it comes to these wall decals, and you can find many really beautiful little art pieces. I chose this Bible verse because it's something that my husband often reminds me of, and I just thought he would love this little project. So I actually bought two of these wall clings. I used one as is, and then I just cut off extra little floral pieces from the second one. I used those little floral sprigs to fill in the edges around those longer ends of the sign. And when I was finished, I went back with my dry brush of white chalk paint and just lightly did a coverage over the top of the sign. question of the day is, do you have a special Bible verse, mantra, or word for the year? I am so curious. Please comment below and let me know. Dollar Tree features these ultra adorable little handmade Valentine cards. All you'll need for this decor project is a three by five frame and one of those cards. And you're simply going to peel off the coffee cup from the front of that card. I promise you anyone can do this and it looks so high end. You would buy a piece like this for 10 to $20 from a decor store. You'll simply cut a little black piece of paper or cardstock and adhere that coffee cup to the paper and then just reinsert that in your frame. Now this piece looks adorable by itself, but I can't wait to show you in my upcoming videos how I use it in a coffee lover's gift basket. Next, we'll make a three-tier tray using three of these little serving bowls. These are plastic. I had actually used them and washed them, and as you can see, some of that paint 
the silver paint came off. So I simply covered each of those three with white chalk paint. Dollar Tree always carries a glass slender candlesticks and I took two of those and also painted them white with white chalk paint. Now you could leave this whole project white if you like, but I decided to up the cuteness factor by painting those candlesticks and the inside of the bowls with pink chalk paint. This little three-tiered tray is going to be a great addition for a little tea caddy or some Valentine's candies. Next, I simply used hot glue and E3000 glue to glue those candlesticks in between the bowls. Now, I wasn't real happy with the end result of that glue. It looked a little messy to me. So to cover that up, I tied some of these fuchsia ribbons from Dollar Tree at each column. Dollar Tree is carrying some beautiful Valentine gift bags, but I could not find the size or pattern I wanted. So I actually found this large size gift bag in the regular wrapping section. You can use this simple trick for any celebration or occasion. Simply cut out a panel from the front and a panel from the back and glue a little ribbon along where those gift bag holes are and voila, you have a beautiful little romantic dinner table setting. These square picture frames from Dollar Tree are the exact size you will need to frame any calendar art. And I'm showing you the calendar I got this graphic from, but Dollar Tree carries so many beautiful colors and styles of calendars. And all you'll need to do is turn to the month of February and frame something to make a beautiful piece of ultra simple art. Our final project, we'll just use one of the decals from those window clings, and it's this adorable little heart bicycle. Simply stick that to a mug from Dollar Tree, put in a little bit of the glass vase filler, a pillar candle, and there you have a beautiful little gift or tablescape. coming along today don't forget to comment below let me know which idea was your very favorite and please subscribe i would love to come back and bring you even more great ideas until next time this is shannon from skip to my life make it a great day